everybody, Chef Spidey here. Welcome back to another episode. I've got a great easy recipe for you today. It's tuna noodle casserole. So easy. So yesterday what we did was we made some pasta from scratch. And check out my other links down below to watch the other videos. But this was homemade spaghetti that we made yesterday. So I do have some of this left over. It's nice and cold. Uh, I made sure that I put a little bit of olive oil on it so that it doesn't stick together. So this is where uh, you're using these products so that you're not wasting any type of food. All right. So Today with the tuna noodle casserole, it's a very simple project. What we have is all the tools and all the ingredients that we're gonna need. So we have one cup of mayo, we have a half a cup of milk, a little bit of dried parsley, a cup of shredded cheddar, about a cup of panko breadcrumbs for the topping. It's gonna to be so crunchy and delicious. We got one whole Spanish white onion. We have two cans of uh, cream of mushroom soup, and we have two cans of uh, chunk light tuna and water. Um, for the tools that we're going to be using today, we need a can opener, we need a whisk, um, a spatula, and a couple bowls. We need a bowl to be able to mix some of the liquids together, and then the casserole dish that's going to go into the oven for us. So the first thing we do is, again, wash our hands. First thing, right? We're washing our hands. I did that before the video so that my hands are clean, ready to go. We're going to turn on our stove to 375 so that we can uh, get this preheated and ready to go for our meal. While that's being warmed up, we're gonna get right into it. Really simple. First things first, we've got a lot of ingredients. Uh, we're gonna need to make ourselves a little bit extra room, okay? So let's move some of these things out of the way and get right into it. So, cutting a white onion. A lot of people have time, a tough time with these. Sometimes they'll make you cry, sometimes they'll make you, you know, sick. Some people don't like them, but there's a really quick and easy way to cut an onion to dice it up really fast so that you don't end up hurting yourself. So what you do is you find both sides. You have the bottom end of it and the top end, all right? We're gonna take this bottom end, we're just gonna cut off just the very end of the onion, okay? Then this other side, we're gonna find and cut off the top of it, all right? It's gonna make a little bit of a mess, but we all know that I like making messes because I don't mind cleaning them up. Uh, the onion, cut in half, right down the middle of that center point, right? Take this outside part of the onion, that's no good. Okay. The other side, peel this back. All right. Before we start cutting, clean that up, throw it in the trash. Super easy way to dice up an onion. Come across, this is where your top is, right? Or where your bottom is. Come through cut lines, being sure to keep that core at the bottom still intact, okay? Then what you do is you come across this way, all right? Come across one time this way, and then about another half an inch down, come across it again. Careful not to cut your hands, okay? Then take the knife and just let the knife do the work, all right? Once you get to that point where you've chopped it up a little bit, Turn it on its side. All right. Perfectly diced onions. It's easy as it needs to be. So again, one, come through here, straight down, trying to keep that onion together. Come across, All right? Then come across again. Careful where your fingers are. All right. And then come down. Perfectly diced onions every time. Again, get to that point. Work around the core. Bring it back in. That's done. And we've got a beautiful diced onion ready to go. Less than a minute. Perfect. So, with these onions here, we are going to take these two containers of cream mushroom soup and get any time you want. This is the easy way to do it. Instead of having to build a roux and a cream sauce, you've already got yourself an ice cream sauce here. We're gonna take these two cans, we're gonna put them into the bowl. All right. Then we are going to take our half cup of milk. Okay and our one cup of mayo. A little bit of parsley. A 
parsley. <laughs> All right. Fresh brown pepper. All right. And we just start mixing that together slowly. Let the liquids combine together a little bit before you start mixing faster. It kind of looks like yogurt. Kind of looks like yogurt, yep. Yeah. Okay. Once those liquids have been combined, I'm going to add our tuna fish. I highly suggest you get one of these. This has been in my family for a long time. It's the coolest little thing. It's for straining tuna fish cans. I know everybody hates having to open up a tuna fish can and having to push the metal to try and get that, you know, that last little bit of liquid out. But what these cool little strainers do is they fit right into the cans. We're gonna open up both cans first. And then we'll come over to the sink and I'll show you how these work. Open up both cans real quick. Okay, you can follow me over to the sink. And we are going to remove the lids. Put this restrainer right in there. And turn it upside down. Perfectly strained tuna fish without any of the mess of the lid having to get in there. Okay, back over. Tuna fish into our liquid. You should just call it the yogurt. Okay, we'll call it the yogurt. Even though it's not yogurt. Looks like yogurt. Okay. Looks like yogurt. Now each can of tuna fish is approximately four ounces of tuna drained. So, I figure about eight ounces. Eight ounces is half a pound, right? Super simple. Now, mix that tuna fish in with the what, Dominic? Yogurt. The yogurt, okay, cool. Mix it in with the yogurt. Okay, then we add that one onion in. That's one onion. That's one onion. Right, and then we add the one cup of cheese, and we mix that all around. Doesn't look so much like yogurt anymore, does it? No, it looks like whatever you put in there. Yeah, mayo and stuff. And stuff. Yep. Okay. I think it was like mayo, mayo, parsley, and some milk. Yep. Yep. And the cream. Of mushroom. All right, so here's our pasta from yesterday. You can use any kind of pasta you want. If you want, you can make penne and you can cook it off and then keep it cool, put a little bit of olive oil on it so that it doesn't stick. Um, but that's really about all there is to this. Then you take this yogurt contraption that Dominic says, mm -hmm. right? Put that on top. Way to do this from this point is probably take a set of tongs. Uh, it's it's all right. Take a set of tongs, mix it around. Get that pasta and liquid to mix together. So you've got this comfortably mixed casserole ready to go. Now, almost done. Now Beep says that our oven is ready to go. So, from this point, all we do is we take some of these panko breadcrumbs, seasoned panko breadcrumbs, and we get a nice coating on top. Just enough to make sure that you cover the top of it. Okay, 
Okay, that sounds about right. Then just for a little bit extra here, just get a little bit of olive oil to drizzle on top. And into the oven at 375. Should be about 30 to 45, 30 to 40 minutes or so. Um, so we'll throw this into the oven. We'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like after about 30 to 40 minutes. Thanks guys. Okay guys, it's been about 40 minutes. Let me check and see how that looks. I can hear it bubbling, so it's gotta be done. everybody who's uh, been liking my videos and subscribing to my page um, I will leave a link below to uh, the recipe itself and uh, if you could also go up into the top left hand corner here and hit that I uh, the little information button I'm gonna do a poll and ask for everybody's uh, advice on what to cook next I'll probably do either two or three items in there and that way I can get an idea of who's watching uh, Who's, who's participating. Thank you very much again for cooking with Chef Spidey today. Uh, it, once this cools down, we'll put it on the plate and we'll show you a presentation of it. And again, stay safe. And from Chef Spidey, thank you for all your support.